Hey everybody. So I have a different backdrop today. More on that later as to where I am. But uh, I got a story for you. And you know what really grinds my gears? A few weeks ago, we had a test, right? We have tests all the time at DLI. And we have this one section where we do conjugations. And up until now, I'm just whizzing through this test, right? Like I am almost done. I just have this conjugation section left. Literally, they give you the sentence and they give you the word unconjugated and you just have to put the word conjugated correctly, right? So I put the answers I think are correct. You know, all five, I'm just like, duh, 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 done. And I'm done with the test. But then I start thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, you know, are all those answers right? And so I go back and look at them and there's two I'm not sure of. I'm like, uh, and so I, you know, I change them because I was thinking it can't be present tense. There's, I mean, this has to be past tense. There's no way it's present tense. And then I just turned the test in and it went on my merry way. Fast forward two days later, I get my test back and it turns out those two answers I changed were right. And so instead of getting my perfect score, I got a 92. You know, I got my eight points off. And what does my teacher do? He goes, Jones, um, why did you change your answers? They were correct the first time. A lot of students second guess themselves. You need to follow your instinct. And I think to an extent we all do this, right? We're all like, well, I mean, that can't be right. And we second guess ourselves and then we, you know, go a different route or do something else or write a different answer in my case on the test. And that's not always a good thing. How often do I do this myself? Not just in past show, but in general, you know? We don't, we don't take the shot because we might miss it or we don't try that new dish because you know, we might not like it or you know, I've even not applied to a job because I, what if I don't, I, won't, I, probably, I probably won't get it, you know, I don't, I don't think I'll get that job. So why, why apply for it in the first place? Maybe even a more potentially important thing is what if you don't ask that girl out and she ends up being your wife? Because I took it, had to take a chance on my wife and it worked out just fine. I'm really glad I did go to California that time. All I'm saying is we have to have a certain level of confidence in our abilities, right? I can't go around just doubting myself wherever I go because I'll never do anything, you know? So I think more often we should just act with confidence and then learn from the outcome and then move on. You know, if it didn't work, then don't do that again. But learn from it. Don't just sit there and doubt it and go, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You know, we have to act too. And next time we take a past two test, that first answer is probably right. Anyway, hope that wasn't too random for you. Just some thoughts. Uh, look forward to my next video because it is going to be coming out pretty soon. i uh, actually still filming it right now. But um, leave me some comments in the sections below and subscribe, please. That way I'll know what to uh, put in my future videos. Thanks. Thanks.